On this episode of Southeast Iowa Day, I interview fans, friends, and family of Raymond Kahn and the Northeast Ohio Dukes. And it's all before the first ever international jump of the General Lee. And uh, once again, I want to thank Raymond and all the guys for the all access here at the Radical Speed Sport at the Mockton Coliseum in Mockton, New Brunswick, Canada. I also want to thank our sponsors, Griner Auto Body of Washington, Iowa, using state-of-the-art techniques and decades of experience to get your car back on the road after an accident. Car Doctor of Washington, Iowa. No matter who Frankensteined it, they can fix and clean and customize it. McDonald Boneyard of Kyoto, Iowa for all of your farm equipment and auto recycling needs. Hinshaw Trailer Sales of Richland, Iowa. You need a trailer. They've got a trailer for you. And they fix what they sell and don't in their full-time repair shop. Girling Repair of Winfield, Iowa. If your mower is dead, call Fred, your Husqvarna, Aarons, and Gravely dealer. B&B Propane and the family of Jet Stops present Southeast Iowa Today. I'm John Bain, author of Christie's Journey, The Beat Goes On, and your host. I need to point this out. This bracelet here my granddaughter Natalie made for me. Let's get to the show. Roscoe car. These guys are getting their vehicles dialed in. They're checking for distance for Raymond for the ramp. I am currently on the top of the ramp. My buddy Sparky Bentley is down below. Fast enough? Not fast enough. Not fast enough. It'll be a couple times. some adjustments. I don't know how fast he was going, but Roscoe couldn't catch him. I think we're getting closer to the speed he is wanting to achieve. If you like what you're watching, seeing, or listening to, remember to like, follow, and subscribe. I sure appreciate it. Yes, I 
gonna try. Nah, no, it ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. Let me out, let me out. Let me out. Correct. Yeah, we're gonna have to be on the side road. Make sure we put people. It's very intimidating for my angle. It was I, I awesome. It sounded, it sounded great. great. Yes, yeah, good. Sounded good. Be hard. Uh, yeah, just, step up here. Yep. Hold this handle. Yep. Hold out. Straight out. Straight out towards you. We'll go right back up. So hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, hold it out. Hold it out. Hold it out. Nope, we can uh, open it back up for a while. That looked so cool when I was up top of that ramp and you were coming. 65 miles an hour. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, my heart was pounding out of my chest. I bet it was. <laughs> so now yeah, it's I like. I was kind of doing that too, and I was looking right down the barrel of you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear? Is, it, is the exhaust oh, resonating under oh, yeah. the, uh, oh, yeah. the building? Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, good, good. good. It's, it's like something is going, something's yeah, coming exactly. though. It wasn't quite the move. How fast did you hit? Uh, first one was 60, second was 65. So I don't think we're going to hit 70 or 75, but. It's the nature of the beast. You can only jump as far as what your venue allows. You right. Know, unless any of you guys got a rocket-powered engine. Uh, <laughs> got some nitrous. Hours, we'll figure some. I got nitrous. <laughs> Around the corner. He doesn't yeah, like doing I that. I don't like no. doing that. Yeah, because I can't turn my head. I'm really yeah. limited. Makes I'm sense. really, really limited to movement and stuff like that in the car. But uh, I, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna do a good job. I think oh. we're going to do a good job and people are going to be excited. And 65 so. is still a big jump. Oh, yeah. It's still a big <laughs> jump. Yeah. So. Nobody is going to be let down. Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to be yeah. let down. So. If you like what you're watching, seeing, or listening to, remember to like, follow, and subscribe. I sure appreciate it. Corey, welcome to Southeast Iowa today. Hi. Now, you, sir... Besides being a big fan of the Dukes of Hazard, mm -hmm. you do things to help keep the Dukes of Hazard in the forefront in the 21st century. You know, just like maybe not to the extreme that Raymond Kahn does with the <laughs> stunt car generally, but you, sir, host several social media pages that I know some of the viewers and listeners of this program will be very familiar with. Can you tell us? Uh, there's uh, Hollywood Stunt Men and Women tribute page. There's everything Dukes of Hazard tribute page. There's everything DOH related tribute page. Because I had over pretty near 200,000 followers and Facebook took it down, so I had to restart the page over again. And then I uh, have uh, Corey Eubanks tribute pages and stuff and a bunch of other ones. <laughs> That's I have about 10 or 15 pages that I run. Now, and an Instagram page. <laughs> and and you you know Raymond Kahn? Yes. You you correspond with him? And yes, I have been helping him for years now, do, you know, posting and help, trying to, like you say, help, help keep the spirit of the Dukes alive. What may, what drives you to do that? For the love of the Dukes. <laughs> and what, what, what? It's just, it's just, uh, they came out when I, like I was born in 72, so that I was just a little kid when they came out. And, who wouldn't be crazy overseeing a car flying, you know? <laughs> exactly, exactly. And the Dukes of Hazard was a program that it was, a was family, family oriented. Family, yeah. They were a family. Non-racist, everything. Like it was, they loved everything and everybody. Yeah. They didn't love what Boss Hogg did, but they still loved him. They, you know? they fought the system. Yeah. And in 2024, whether you're a Canadian, or if you're a citizen of the United States, or it doesn't matter what color. It, it, it's <laughs> we have to fight the system even yeah. more today, don't we? Yeah, we all bleed the same. <laughs> yep, that's right. Well, are you excited about today's jump? Oh yeah, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> me, me neither. I can't yeah, it's wait. Something I've been waiting for a long time to see. And yeah. Hopefully someday, like not not to take anything away from Raymond, but then 
Hopefully someday I can get to see Corey Eubanks do it in person too. <laughs> I, I saw Corey at um, a Dukes Fest several years ago. Yeah, Corey phones me a few times and stuff and I've talked to him and help him a lot online. And he sent me, uh, I don't have it with me today, but he sent me a, a jacket, him and Tom Sermento for Christmas there a few years back, a, a stunt jacket. I saw that on your, one of your Facebook pages. Yeah. You and, and then, another guy had stunt jackets on. Yeah, and then he had uh, he sent me a nice poster where he rolled the van or rolled the the bus on the Fast Five, and he autographed it for me and sent it to me. That's a keeps yeah. it. That's that's yeah. awesome. I had John awesome. Cade Cade phoned me before, and I talked to Tom Sermento phoned me a bunch of times. Too. Tom is a very wonderful, yeah. generous man. I've never met him in person, but I'd love to meet him. <laughs> I've actually had him on this program. Oh, okay. If you go back in my library, you can see um, he talks about his book a little bit, but we talk about yeah. everything. Yeah, Dukes Tom of Hazzard. sent me his book. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it's that's a that's a good one. So, yeah. folks watching, go back and watch that up or listen to that episode with Tom Sermento too. Well. Corey, I always ask guests on my program because I don't know everything. If there was one thing you wanted to share with the audience that I haven't brought up, what is it? I'm not sure. Just for everybody to come out today for noon, watch the jump and have a good time, and then wait till 2 o'clock and go in and see a lot of cool cars inside. Very well. Be here all weekend. Very well, sir. Thanks so much. Okay, thank you. Ladies, Tina Kine and Tiffany Kine, the two T's. Yes, right. the two T's. <laughs> Tina is Raymond Kine's wife. Tiffany is Raymond Kine's daughter. Yes, and the first question, first of all, I want to welcome you to Southeast Iowa today. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> and my first question for both of you is, what is it like to live and experience what I would describe as the the mayhem, the awesomeness, the craziness that is Raymond Kine mm -hmm. and what he does. And he'll be, we're looking at the, the end of the ramp that he's gonna be flying the General Lee over later today. What is that like for you ladies? Well, I've gotten used to it, not used to the nervous feeling, but I've gotten used to him jumping because I've he's been jumping since I was two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, but as his daughter, he doesn't really understand it, but it's it's a very hard thing for me. I had trouble sleeping last night, and it was just ugh, it's yeah. it's a crazy feeling. And when he gets to that ramp. Oh, my heart. And I just like let out a scream every time because I can't help it. The person you love so much in a car, you never know what can happen. It's, it's just, you know. But uh. what, go ahead. What were you, yeah, what do you what think? What you going to say? Oh, well, I mean, it's one of those things I would say I could agree with a lot of what she's saying, but um, it's nerve wracking. It's exciting. I think as time goes, you learn I, me personally how to deal with it a little bit better. But I think for me, it's more like internalized. Like I'm screaming inside. Kind uh -huh. of. <laughs> but, I say you always seem so cool, calm, and collected. Oh, yeah. yeah. She calms me down. Yeah. yeah. I, I try to be. And there's not a jump that he's ever had that I haven't prayed before the jump. So that's obviously a huge part of it. Because I think without any of that, I definitely would be probably falling apart. But yeah. Yeah. That we're very, is we're very proud helps. of him. Yeah. We're very proud of how far he has made it. Um, as his daughter, I'm very proud. You know, it's I just, mean, we're it's, in Canada. I know we're in Canada. I've never been here before. Eh? Eh? <laughs> 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 Yeah, exactly what we're, we're excited. Yeah, we're out Yeah, we're just excited and like we're just very proud of him. I mean, he's definitely earned all of this. He's worked hard. He helps with the builds and 
he also jumps. So he's definitely got a lot on his plate in it, that aspect, you know. Yeah. Now, for other Northeast Ohio Dukes events, mm -hmm. sometimes you guys and gals put on a whole oh, episode oh, of the Dukes yeah. of Hazard live in front of thousands of people. Right. in in uh fairgrounds and different places on mm -hmm. on dirt tracks but you act out a whole show oh, yes. Yes. and you yes. have uh Misty. you have uh <laughs> filled in for Catherine bach several times oh, in those yeah. live events yes. you were daisy do yeah yeah it, it's it's a lot of fun um we love doing the shows too as you know because you get to be a part of it and it all goes back to like being a family and getting to work together and yeah. i've always loved that kind of stuff since i was a kid in school we did drama in school so my love for acting and that kind of stuff started at an early age so it's right down my alley to do those kind of things and i get to work alongside my husband so yeah. it's a win-win you know Bo and daisy they're supposed to be cousins yeah we gotta pretend like we don't like each other and Tiffany, you're involved with the the stunt shows. Well, yeah, I'm involved in like the running the flag. Hopefully, like as time goes on, I can be in it and actually do a stunt. So you really want to do I a do, stunt? I do want to do a stunt. He wants me to start off with a little Enos jump, but I do want to do like a turnover. I want to take over. So the the saying the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree yeah. is definitely in in, yeah. in I know working I order nervous, here. But I know I can do it. If my wow. dog can do it, I can do it. Yeah. He's just like us. He's now I've interviewed him too. on other podcast episodes and he told me one of the things that he feels he has to have in order to be successful is an element of fear. Oh yeah. Without the fear Because he's not gonna let you do it if you're oh, as excited yeah. as you are now. Yeah, oh no. <laughs> yeah, like, you have to be nervous. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the fear is what saves him. If he's not scared, then that's when he should stop. Uh -huh. But I don't think he'll ever lose that fear. Right. Yeah, last night he couldn't sleep either, so yeah. we're all having a little trouble. Yeah. Yeah, I think the aspect of that is not like a, a an out of control fear, but a fear that is given you uh, the ground the grounding. I'm trying to think of how to say. It to to know what's ahead of you is very important and it's very serious and you need to have that in order to do what you do because i think there's some people that are like oh it's not a big deal but it really is a big deal and so, and, you and when you do that there's so that is part of the preparation the oh, elements absolutely. of preparation absolutely. to eliminate some of the risk exactly exactly yeah. oh he's he hangs from that ceiling and he's not touching his butt isn't touching the seat you know and that's good because when he lands if like he would could really hurt his back or right. yeah. something like that right but the plan is for him to nose dive and if you see him land flat something's not right All he's right. gonna be hurt so it's just, he's very smart. We got weight in the back, you know, we want him the nose dive. So hopefully all that goes well. It's just a lot of different things can happen. So that's why it's scary, you know? Yes. He could get hurt, he could not get hurt. He can get out and say, I want to do it again. You know, <laughs> he does it every time. Response. Every time. So. That's what's the funniest thing is it's like every time you go through this process of like, He's all excited. He's doing the bill, getting the car together, and then he gets to then the, he gets nervous. Then it, about two weeks, I'd say, before I jump, and he's like, "Oh, why did I do this to myself again?" And I'm like, <laughs> "I don't know right why." When he jumps, he's like, "I want to do it again." I was like, oh. "You were just saying why? Why did I do this to myself?" Yeah, I mean, the what he that adrenaline rush that oh, he yeah, feels yeah. has After, to yeah. He's like, yeah. And you know, no. <laughs> and I've had the experience to be at one of your shows back in 2015 yeah. at uh, Yankee Lake. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And when he hits that, you see him coming, oh, and yes. you, the crowd, the oh, anticipation, God. everything yeah. is just quiet. Yeah. But then, you hear the roar of the engine, and then yeah. you, the thing you get when he's up in the air, and I'm feeling it now, is right. there's an electricity Literally. that just goes through the whole. Oh, Crowd. Is, yeah. that is a do you feel that? Do you feel that too? We, we feel oh, yeah. It, but with a lot more 
emotions. Yeah. Well, you know because, what I mean? Yeah, because the difference is is that's my husband and that's her dad. So yes. it's a very personal. Me and my dad are very, very close. Beyond what somebody as a spectator would right. feel. Right. Because we are connected to him. Exactly. So that's the difference. Yeah. It's a whole other ball game, you know. <laughs> that is right. So, well, yeah. ladies, I thank you so much for being on and sharing yeah, for the, all of this. Is there anything I should have asked you? that I didn't, that you want to share with the audience. We love Raymond Conroy. <laughs> that. Um, I just that we're happy to have everyone here and the spectators, they mean a lot to us. We enjoy uh, doing what we do. We're proud. I'm proud of my husband and she's proud of her dad. And, awesome. But we're thankful for the spectators to want to come see as well. It, it just makes it all exciting. It so they're a huge part of it too. They, they yeah. are. My dad has fans. It's cool to see him go up. Hey, Raymond. I'm like, oh, yeah, you know my dad. You know. That is cool, awesome. isn't it? It's awesome. That it's is weird, cool. It's a weird for me. I don't know. It's a weird yeah. feeling. Yeah. But he's cool. He's there famous, you. I guess. Well, ladies, thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate and, uh, you. Uh, I'm honored that I've been able to have this conversation Thank with you both. You. Yeah, we're honored that you have yeah, us. Yeah. Thank you for that. All right. Chris and Raven, we're here in Moncton, New Brunswick, in front of the Moncton the Coliseum. And I know, Chris, that you're a Dukes of Hazard fan. Oh, yeah. Raven, are you? Yeah, I'm a big one. What do you anticipate what are you expecting from today's jump with the Northeast Ohio Dukes and Raymond Kine? I think it's going to be awesome and epic. Uh, definitely a hard landing. Ray's planning on trying to go far, but uh, I guess I'm a, I'm a little nervous for Ray, too, at the same time. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, Excitement, for sure. I was up at uh, 20 after 1 this morning and couldn't fall back asleep. Wow, so you're excited. <laughs> Raven, are you excited? I'm very excited to see it happen. I'm also nervous for Ray too. Uh -huh. So, do you have you ever seen Ray jump in person before? Not no. in person. So no. you've seen him online. Online, many so, many times. How cool have those videos been? Oh, those videos are awesome. They I've always so wanted cool. to come see it live. And now they came to you. They came to me, yeah. That doesn't happen for everybody. No. No, I mean, I mean, this is his first ever international jump. It's pretty incredible. Well, what I want to do, if it's okay with the two of you, is after the jump, I'm going to try and find you to see if everything lived up to your expectations, your anticipations, and see, uh, see what you think then. Absolutely. I think the nerves will settle down once I see the green flag go up. <laughs> All right. Well, I thank you both for being on Southeast Iowa today, and I'll catch up with you in a little while. Perfect. There you have it, folks. People are excited for the upcoming jump of the General Lee by Raymond Kahn and the Northeast Ohio Dukes. Thanks again to Ray and all the guys, and thanks to you for watching, and thanks to our sponsors, Griner Auto Body, Car Doctor, McDonald Boneyard, Hinshaw Trailer Cells, Girling Repair, B&B Propane, and the family of Jet Stops. I'm your international host, John Bain. Stay friendly, Southeast Iowa. <laughs>